Hi guys, and today in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to make a um, procedurally generated lava texture, lava shader, uh, using Shader Graph in Unity. And um, there will be two parts to this tutorial, hopefully I won't have to split them up, but uh, the first part will be getting the shader working and then the second part will be vertex displacement that's the vertex displacement is incredibly simple but I'm aware that some people may want this uh, lava shader on something other than a flat surface so the vertex displacement may not be the best thing for them okay so first off I've already set up my project with the lightweight rendering pipeline I'm I'm using this simply because of its mobile compatibility and I want it uh, my shader to be able to work pretty much everywhere. So let's go and create a new shader, a PBR graph, and let's call this lava shader or just simply lava. I'm going to right click, create new material, make sure that you're writing, uh, right clicking on the shader itself, and it will create a material with the shader pre applied. Now I'm going to go into the hierarchy of the scene, create a new plane, I'm going to attach that shader onto it. Okay, now let's get into the actual uh, making of the shader. So, let me drag this over. Okay, I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial you know everything here is. Uh, basically this is the master node what you put everything into these are the properties which can be exposed or not exposed depending on what you want and this is a preview of the final shader to begin we are going to uh, need to create two things so let's create a node and the first one is going to be some gradient noise and let's put that here and then the second one shall be some Veroni Veroni I've, I've never learned how to pronounce that and finally let's add some tiling and offset now we're gonna have um, both the noises attached to the same uh, tiling and offset and uh, for the gradient noise I'm going to put this at 5 and for the other noise I'm going to put the cell density at about 6 okay so the first things first is we're going to want these textures to move a very easy way of doing this is to add a time node so I'm going to add a time node and I'm also going to add a property I'm going to call this the time offset and it's going to be a vector one and essentially what this will do is we'll multiply the time by this to either speed up the time or slow it down uh, for me I am gonna slow it down I'm gonna change this to the default property to 0 0.3 I'm gonna drag it in here and then I am going to simply multiply the two together and um, I think actually I'm going to go for 0 0.03 instead of 3 alright and then the time the raw time function I'm actually going to drag straight off into the angle offset and you're going to see now that the little cells are starting to move now I'm going to drag this into the offset of the tiling and you're going to see now that both the noise and the other both noises are moving now what we're going to do next is we're going to add a white balance to both the textures or the noises 
um, so let's drag the gradient noise into this one and the temperature I'm going to set to about a one point I'm going to leave it as as one and then let's create another white balance and drag the out here uh, not into the temperature sorry into the in three and then for the temperature I'm going to have it at about 1.35 just for good measure now what we're going to want to do is lerp between these two textures so let's create a lerp node in here and in here now we're going to want to be able to choose how we lerp between it um, like dynamically so it changes with time so that it's not just like one shade like this which looks cool but it's not quite lava so I'm gonna go down here and create another tiling and offset node and just drag this out into the offset and then I'm gonna create a simple noise node and drag this into the UV I'll scroll in for you and then change this to about I think about 20 is good between 20 and 30 so it's 25 25 28 29 20 I'm gonna go with 20 now we're going to use this noise to lerp between the two um, between the two white balances. So now we've got something like this, which is actually starting to look pretty close to lava now, but it isn't quite what we want. Um, I think first off, though, I'm going to change the white balance down here to make it a little bit more red. So now that's looking a lot nicer. No, I think I think zero point three four, let's say, is pretty good. So next we're gonna have a multiply node. And simply we're gonna take the out from here and multiply it by the simple noise again, and we're gonna get this darker, harsher kind of um, noise. Let's move the master across. Now, what we're wanting is that we're going to try and blend the cells and the the cells and the noise a little bit more. So how I decided to go about this is go get yourself a contrast node, put this in, and up it to about 200 is where I put it at. And now you've got this cool, almost like toony lava texture. Now, if you're fancying on going for a toon lava texture, I would almost recommend leaving it here. Uh, you could, in theory, do a few more things to it, but I think here is a very nice place to end it if you are looking just for a, a lava texture. Okay, now let's create a node, and this is going to be a remap node. And let's drag this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to zero to about 180. So you can already see that the darker colors are coming out. I'm going to put this to three. Or yeah, I'm going to put this to three. So now the colors are looking a lot more lava like. And if we were just to drop this in, hit save, you would see that it's looking pretty good already. Now there's one more thing that I'm going to do to um, 
smooth out the the texture a bit I'm actually gonna lerp it again between a couple of things I'm gonna lerp it I'm gonna create a node and actually I think I'm gonna change this to one to make it that bit darker I'm gonna create a lerp node I'm going to drag this into two slots. I'm going to drag it into the lerp. And I'm going to drag it into the A slot. Now I'm going to take this, the white balance from the original um, Verona Neo noise, and drag it all the way over here. So now you see it's looking a lot brighter a lot stronger and I would argue a lot more like lava so let's drag this up and this will your be your albedo next I'm going to create a split node I'm going to drag this into the split node what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some emission to the shader because lava gives off light a little so I'm going to go here, I'm going to create a vector 3, unfortunately the emission uh, does not take the out node directly I believe, or does it? It does actually. So forget what I was saying, put the lerp into the emission and the albedo. And now we're going to have a bright lava texture or lava shader that we can enjoy. Now if you want to mess around with things, the best at the moment that I've got it set up is, is you can mess around with the time offset. However, I think it looks rather good in itself. If we play and look at it, it's going a bit fast, so Let's bring the time offset down to like 0 0.1, 0 0.11, uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.6, to 0 0.6. Now if this is a little bit too cell like for you, it's very easy just to go back in. And I would say rather than lurping between it again, just drag it back like so and you've got a less cell like lava shader which is still has the, the cells in it but nowhere near as much so that's it for this part of the tutorial if you've enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe uh, the next part of the tutorial will be for the vertex manipulation by itself so if you don't want to uh, do that, then you can leave it here. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.